your refrigerator door, an MRI machine, the internet, a mobile phone. What do they all have in common? They use magnets. Yeah! Magnets! Oh! The materials we'll be needing are as follows. A compass, a wire cutter, a thin marker, electrical tape, a strong magnet, a battery that's double A or D, a multi-tester, a glue gun and some glue sticks, a copper wire, a needle nose plier, and two paper metal clips. Step 1. Starting in the center of the wire, wrap the wire tightly and neatly around the marker 30 times or less. Slide the coil you made off the marker. Step number two, wrap each loose end of the wire around the coil a few times to hold it together. Then, point the wires away from the loop. Step number three, use sandpaper to remove the top half of the wire insulation on each free end of the coil. The exposed wire should be facing the same direction on both sides. Step number four, thread each loose end of the wire coil through the large eye of a cloth pin, needle, or paper clip. Then, try to keep the coil as straight as possible without bending the wire ends. Then, after your D battery is on a flat surface, place the needles slash pin slash clip upright next to the terminals of each battery so that the side of each needle touches one terminal of the battery. You can use electrical tape to secure the needles to the ends of the battery. Your coil should be hanging above the battery. Then, tape a small magnet to the side of the battery so that it is centered underneath the coil. Finally, give your coil a spin. The end result should look a little something like this.